We're going to write parametric equations to the curve negative 3x plus 2 with the definition x is equal to t. So we've already been talking about parametrics. We have an x equals and a y equals and they have t as the main variable. So now we want to take this and actually turn it back in. So instead of eliminating the parameter and going from uh, the, x and the, the x and the y back into just a single one with y, now we want to go the opposite direction and break it up into x equals and y equals. Well, Here's the first uh, equa parametric equation. They already give us that. They said x should equal t. So now I know x is equal to t. Well, if I want to find the other one, then all I have to do is put in, instead of the x, I put in a t. And then there we go. That's all we have to do for this one. Uh, x is equal to t, and y is equal to negative 3t plus 2. So let's look, look at a couple others. OK, so the next one. Our y is equal to 6x minus 4, and this time they want us to use the definition uh, t over 3. Like before, they already give you one of the parametric equations. x is going to be equal t over 3. And now the other one, all you got to do is plug this into there for x. So now we have y equals 6 times t over 3 minus 4. So y is equal to 2t two minus 4. So now there's our two parametric equations x is equal to t over 3 and y is equal to 2t minus 4. If you were to make a table of values for this one, you would get exactly the same picture, the same graph as y equals 6x minus 4. Okay, and for the last one we've got the line 7 minus 2x and we have x is equal to negative 5t squared. So once again we want to come up with the parametric equations. Same as we've been doing before, you already have the first one given to us already, the negative 5t squared, so it doesn't matter if it doesn't have, if it has a square or not, it can be any power, it doesn't matter. And then we'll just put this into the other one, 7 minus 2 times negative 5t squared, and then that's it, we just have to simplify, so 7 plus 10t uh, squared, and then that's all we have to do for that one. First parametric equation, here's the second one, so now we have a pair of parametric equations that go along with the original line. 7 minus 2x.